G'day YouTube, how the heck are we doing? It is foul play here. We're here for the second match of this Popper League. We lost the Dyrol vs Romario Vidal or Vidal. The opponent has Mulligan to six. We're gonna keep this seven. Looks like they've found a six they're happy with, and it also looks like we are versing Burn with another Armadillo Cloak start here. So just one mana source away from casting Armadillo Cloak. That will do. Uh, <laughs> Don't mind if we do. All right, let's go ahead and play Bogle because it is the flavor of the deck, right? That's what it's a name for. Implement of Combustion from our opponent. Into Kildroth Rebirth. This guy will be attacking for three. We can actually fog three damage here and I think that's fine. I think that's probably worth it. Yeah. It delays the Abundant Growth, but we don't need the Abundant Growth down anyway. We don't have an Ethereal Armor or Abundant Mask in hand, so it's fine doing this. Um, opponents already cashed in their Implement, so that removes a free removal spell for the Warrior token. All right, so after a little bit of contemplation, opponent is tapping two mana. I guess it's just Reckless Impulse or Inquiry or whatever it's called. Reckless Impulse, there it is. Great Furnace, Galvanic Blast. Sure. Galvanic Blast on the Warrior token. That's fine. So we're gonna take six damage here. Not the best to take that, but uh, nothing we can do about it. Oh, Ethereal Armor, that's going to make for a very, very good next turn if we can survive one more turn here. Um, opponent could remove their own creature in response to us blocking with Lava Dart, with Lightning Bolt, whatever it may be. So we are actually forced into blocking with the Gla uh, attacking with the Clay Cover Scout here. Puts us back up to 17. If we get to untap, we'll definitely win. All right, opponent, Dwarven Chanter. A Dwarven Forge Shanta. Reckless Impulse. Yeah, cool. Finds Implement and Chain Lightning. One in hand. It's an attack for five. Yeah, I'll take that. No complaints here. And we find Ancestral Mask. So Thrill Armor plus Abundant Growth is plus four. Ancestral Mask is plus four. Playing Abundant Growth gives us the chance to draw another one mana aura. Uh, I think I did that right. Yeah, cool. Uh, we bricked on that. We still get an attack for eight. That's us back up to 20 with one chump blocker for next turn. And opponents significantly down on resources at this point. I guess they've got virtual three card hand currently with two prowess creatures. All right, so we're back up to 20. Opponent down to eight, passing the turn with our chump blocker active. Implement of Combustion now being played. Opponent did play a Mountain from hand. Gildro Rebirth, sucking this one, drawing a card, a whole bunch of different triggers. And Chain Lightning now, coming out of our face. One card in hand still. As you can see, they can put up a fair chunk of damage. I'm happy that that was not a Goblin Bushwhacker in hand to Anthem the board. And this one is surely lethal. Casual attack for 17. Our opponent concedes. Boo. All right, so this is a example deck of what our opponent's about. Looks like this particular one's got the Chromatic Star instead of the Implement of Combustion. The main way to interact with us is in the festivities, dealing one damage to each opponent and each creature and Planeswalker they control, um, allowing them to turn one wipe out, burgle away. Additionally, they can interact with our land, so it's good to split our enchantments um, amongst different lands if possible. All right, for sideboarding here, um, I don't usually bring in Crimson Acolyte as an efficiency swap for Silhana Ledgewalker, given that most of their creatures can't block this, and it's also dodges and the festivities, so it's a good next level deck tech. Um, Ram 3 is optional to interact with our opponent's creatures. Uh, currently in the list, I think Mask is the cut for that. Uh, maybe you could minus a Satessin training instead, though. Reminder as well, if you do enjoy the content, please consider subscribing for more like this. 
opponent keeps seven. Uh, I don't think this hand is very good. We'll mulligan. This looks a lot better. We'll keep Let's do bottom a one card here. So it's a toss up between, I guess, Abundant Growth and Ancestral Mask. I think it's just Ancestral Mask. Um, it'd be a great effect to have on our creature, but we definitely want two mana. Um, and we're going to turn one this Abundant Growth on the Forest to play around in the festivities, turn two from our opponent. Um, so we can turn two creature plus aura. And fortunately, we're going to be able to... No, we can't turn to... We'd have to Lotus Petal to double aura next turn. All right, so I'm now regretting bottoming that mask instead of one of the forests, but who knew? 17 land deck. Let's, let's go. Opponent attacking in for three. All right, at least there is an aura off the top there. So, planes, scout... I guess we'll give a Vigilance this time. I'm not looking to block my opponent's creatures for fear of being blown out by mutagenic growth. It's not super common in the opponent's deck, but I don't want to be blown out by it, so... don't want to play into it. I guess if they completely empty their hand pre-attacks, uh, that will give us the green light to block Epicure anyway, and First Strike is not relevant in that spot. Opponent attacks with the Swift Spirit, leaving Epicure back, sort of suggesting a little bit that they don't have mutagenic growth. They sack Implement of Combustion. We are down to 13 life currently. Utopius Rule. All right, so that's a pretty good one. Let's do this right. So this here, this here, that for white, that there, that there. All right, so now we can attack for nine. We can also now reasonably block Monastery Swift Spear from our opponent. And Reckless Impulse from the opponent. The gas is going to keep on coming at cost of two mana. Galvanic Blast and Lightning Bolt found. So a fair few burn effects for our opponent. Um, we've almost got lethal on our next attack. We need an aura that deals two or more da damage. So drawing two... Two Rancors, um, two Armadillo, two, two Ancestral Mask, four Armadillo Cloaks. It's eight cards. Plus, maybe there's a Satessan Training and everything else. Opponent just kills us with like double Fire Blast. Uh, that's pretty good. GG. Uh, going into game three, not much changes. Let's just resubmit and get into it. We're on the play this time, so we should have a bit of a better time. All right, we'll keep this and. Does Ash Barons search planes or a forest here? I think we're fine searching a planes with the Ash Barons. So lead on forest and pass the turn. Epicure from the opponent. One damage to us. Blood token over there. We'll cycle this one. Thin that library of ours. Get our final planes in the deck. Again, Cartouche, nice find. All right, opponent, wasting no time to tap two mana here. Is this the Dwarven Forge Chanter? Or is this a Reckless Impulse? All right, changes their mind. Implement. Rebirth, sure. We don't currently have Vigilance. We don't currently have Lifelink. So it's a bit of a scary spot in ways. Is there a world where we S ethereal armor the warrior token here? So we have double blockers. Since we don't currently have vigilance, I think this is fine. All right, let's see what our opponent has. I'll hot up blockers on Crimson Acolyte as well, because an attack for two is not very significant here. If our opponent uses a burn spell to essentially remove Ethereal Armor, we get Rancor back. That's not the worst thing in the world. Forge Chanter, sure thing. I wouldn't be going 
sorry, I wouldn't be going for this warrior line if our opponent was not tapped out that turn as well. Um, well, that's just a really, really good find. Again, let's be as clinical as possible here, thinning our library as much as possible. All right. Um, this does give the chance for opponent to, I guess they can't Galvanic Blast, they can Fireball this though, right? Pardon me, Fire Blast. So they are actually cashing that one in. That's a little bit of a blowout, but I think we can recover from it. Maybe we're supposed to get the attacks first and then second main the Ancestral Mask. I think maybe I got a touch greedy there. Anyway, our opponent's way behind on tempo. We're still on 19 life, they're down to one mana. All right, synth from the opponent. Hopefully they brick on land drop here. Finds Galvanic Blast, land from hand. All right, looks like they get to utilize that one for two damage here. Um, also, I guess my line was not clinical. We should have played the Ash Barons instead of cycling it. Um, let's just block the most damage that we can in this spot because then we could have held up a white mana source to give protection from red in response. Test and training. Finding Acolyte. Gotta love the spot we're in at the moment. I think I navigated it poorly. I think we have to attack with at least one creature here though. Um, I don't know, maybe that's wrong. Maybe I just accept that I need to draw exactly Armadillo Cloak or I'm screwed. Implement of Combustion from the opponent and yeah, the card draws keep on coming. Should also note there's possibility for our opponents to be sideboarding Flaring Pain. So blocks like this aren't always free if they're holding up like a two red mana. The uh, removing of damage prevention will cause red creatures to deal damage to Crimson Acolyte. All right, so we are down to nine opponent post-combat, Chain Lightning down to six. All right, I could really do with an Armadillo Cloak here deck. Not an armadillo cloak. Um, so currently our opponent has got for block here, four damage there, any burn effects kills us. They've got implement to deal one damage to us. I don't like it. Um yeah, I really wish, wish we didn't misplay that warrior token with the Ash Barons. Apologies for that, everyone. And opponent, not surprisingly, is serving in here. Go for the old chump block now. Galvanic Blast. All right, so we're dead regardless. So if we blocked here, we would have had uh, three damage from the creatures regardless. And yep, so that game was completely on me. I, I could have won it with the Ash Barons, but did not. Um, good game, sir, opponent. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know how harsh that blight was down in the comment section below. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you then.